What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the very first official video of the Iron Man Progress series. Today we're going to be knocking out some fun stuff, and so I'd love for you guys to participate and be involved in the journey here and what we're going to be accomplishing. Uh, don't want to talk too long. Um, enjoy the intro video, and we'll get right to it. So first thing we're starting off with today is knocking out the rest of our sandstone for crafting. Uh, so really quickly, this is not a brand new method and pretty commonly known, so I won't go over too much of it. But basically, for Iron Man, the best way to bank crafting is to use giant seaweed and buckets of sand to make molten glass and then blow the molten glass into whatever the best item is that you can make based on your crafting level. Um, so the easiest way to bank sand on this game is to uh, mine sandstone here at the quarry and then just a little bit um, further up on the screen or west there is a grinder that you put all the sandstone into which you'll see just here in a second in the background and then you can take the sand and uh, create it into buckets here you'll see in just a second and then um, you can claim those buckets of sand from this guy standing right here uh, drew for 50 gp per bucket uh, so it comes out to be relatively pretty cheap. Uh, you typically don't need too much. So from where we're at right now and what we already have banked and what we need, we we need about um, 9.1K total sand, and I think we're about 4K here at this point. So not too much more, and we're been, we've been banking about 3K per hour. So it's a pretty quick process, and we already have all the seaweed banked. Um, so we will see you back as soon as we finish with mining all the sandstone. And we're done. Okay, now to claim the sand. Nice and easy, 50 coins each, like I said earlier. Okay, now we just gotta go fin spend a uh, couple hours superheating all this and we'll uh, get on it. All right, and there is the last inventory for 93 crafting, 16.6K glass to blow. I think that's actually a little bit over, but Anyways, we got some gems and stuff we'll use up to, to maybe slow down the glass blowing and uh, do some other stuff. But yeah, on to the fun stuff. Uh, just going to be doing that kind of in the AFK on the side. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the mobile clip, but was AFKing and didn't really want to get back on my computer just to record one clip. But here it is. The big milestone, halfway to 99. 92 crafting. Uh, one more level to go on the grind. Hopefully this will end soon. So this is probably a little bit random of a clip for those of you that haven't watched my stream before, but we are currently in the middle of grinding out Corrupted Gauntlet for a Blade of Saldor. Um, and if I can remember correctly, our KC is 287. I'll check here in a second. Uh, but with the update and stuff coming into the game that just passed in Pulse 71, we are only going to be pushing for 300 just to end on something clean, and then once the update comes out, we'll send some more corrupted gauntlet. But I will update you if anything interesting happens. Ooh, that was close. Almost ran myself right back through. Okay, pretty slow kill. But what do we get? Nothing. 289. Nope. 290. Nope. 291. Nope. 292. Nope. All right, somehow the audio for this clip did not come through. But anyways, here we go. Enough of the Corrupted Gauntlet. Back to the crafting. And we are just finishing off now uh, with the last little piece. 93 crafting. The long grind is finally over. Let's get rid of this fury and make this torture. <laughs> Oh my god, I kid you not, that was like the fifth stew. Oh, always lucky. Always lucky, let's make this. I don't even know why I'm tripping and trying to rush. Just excited. One cosmic rune. Amulet of torture achieved. Oh, by the way. Real quick, let me check this out. Okay, so here's where we were at before, as I'm sure many of you already know the stats on a torture, but here's the Fury, plus 10 and everything with uh, defense, 
bonuses, plus five prayer, plus eight melee strength. And then the torture is plus five and all the attack style, melee attack styles for accuracy with a plus two melee strength and plus two prayer. So obviously the fury still has its uses, but the torture overall is a better melee only. Um, but of course with the anguish, you know, being good for range. And then when we get the occult, this is just overall a great upgrade. So, oh, thank God. Last of the night. Back to Gauntlet to finish off the last few remaining KCs. 293. Nope. Nice, easy sub 10 minute kill. Do we get lucky? 294. Nope. 295. Nope. 296. Nope. 298. Nope. 299. Ooh, you know it's been a while but the weapon seed is not the one that we want one piece away from full crystal armor and we get a weapon seed thanks jagex so let me show y'all how frustrating corrupted gauntlet can be um first off if i can even enter the door here in this clip but uh yeah this is one of the things with corrupted gauntlet and grinding it out it just can be super frustrating and motivating this is already after doing a whole bunch of kc and i was already tired late at night and um as you can see here i think it's the yeah the next attack after this one it's going to toss out uh, the mage that turns off your prayer and i flick it and then hit the wrong one and bam one shot very frustrating okay after like three attempts that you will not see finally get 300 kc what do we get oh not lucky well that can that concludes uh gauntlet until the new update comes out i just wanted to finish at a clean number um if it's going to get much easier i'm not i'm not going to grind out another 100 kc over the next few days or a week or however long it would take so um we're done for now but uh, we will be doing Gauntlet once the update from Poll 71 actually comes into the game. Um, and I'll post the link for that in the description so you guys have a chance to see um, what exactly I'm talking about. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, I know this episode is a little bit short. We're still trying to figure out some of the kinks with YouTube and uh, recording clips and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but in the meantime, I appreciate you guys watching to this point if you have please leave a like or uh, honest comment about what you think or how I can improve on making videos uh, as far as sharing my journey on this Iron Man progress series. Otherwise, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please check us out on Twitter and Twitch. Uh, we don't stream all the time, but we do stream sometimes, and I'd love for you guys to be a part of just hanging out and enjoying the experience. Otherwise, thank you guys so much and have a great day. We'll see you soon.